All right, so in these videos, I am going to go over how to do each problem in this review. So hopefully you don't need it too much, but if you do, um, feel free to use it as needed. So I'm gonna break it into two videos here. The first video is gonna be just the simplifying exponents, this first page. So, there we go. So, negative exponents is the key on number one. We wanna get rid of the negative exponents. Seven has an exponent of one. It's happy on top, so I'm gonna leave it where it's at. M, not happy on top, it goes to the bottom and becomes M to the fourth. N is not happy on the bottom, it goes to the top and becomes N squared. Done with that one. Number two, get, this one gets people all the time. That negative is, is like a negative one times eight to the negative second. The negative one has an exponent of one. It actually is happy on top, so it's gonna stay on top. The eight goes to the bottom and becomes eight squared. Eight squared is 64, so my answer here is negative one over 64. Number three, a couple different ways you could do this. You could move the five, x to the fifth to the top first if you want, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and put these together where they're at. So I have one over x to the negative fifth times x to the third. I'm gonna add these exponents. Okay, so negative five plus three is negative two. And now it's ne still a negative exponent. I'm gonna move it to the top. It becomes x to the second on top over one. There's nothing left on the bottom. You don't have to write the one. You can just say x squared. Okay, number four, division here. Yes, you can subtract nine minus four and say a to the fifth, but think of it this way. Where are there more a's? My fraction. There's more a's on top. So I'm gonna put an a on the top. Um, there are five more a's on top, so a to the fifth over one, or just a to the fifth. Number five, I got negative exponents. I could subtract, I could say negative seven minus negative five, but a lot of people are gonna mess that up. So I'm gonna move things around first. So I'm gonna move b to the seventh, negative seven to the bottom, and becomes b to the seventh. I'm gonna put b to the negative fifth on top, and becomes b to the fifth. Now where are there more b's? There are more b's on the bottom, so I'm going to put a b on the bottom. There are two more on the bottom, so it's going to be b squared on the bottom. Nothing left on top, so I'm going to put a 1. 6 looks ridiculously challenging, but if you move things around, which you really don't have to move one thing, and do them base by base, it's really not too bad. So I'm just going to rewrite 4c to the 5th, d to the 19th. That f does not stay there. It goes to the bottom. I'm gonna put the 12 out in front, and I'm gonna go ahead and write C to the fifth, D to the 12th, F to the third, and now I'm gonna put that F to the sixth right here. Now I'm gonna go um, base by base, and I'll come back to four and 12. C to the fifth, C to the fifth. Where are there more C's? Well, they're equal, so actually they just cancel out. You get C to the zero, which is just one. Where are there more D's? Again, I said I'm gonna come back to the four and 12. Where are there more D's? There's more D's on top. I'm going to put a D on the top. There's seven more. That's my exponent. Where are there more F's? Well, they're all on the bottom. There's three and there's six, so there's a total of nine F's on the bottom. A lot of people think they're done right here, but four and 12 are actually coefficients. It's like a fraction. I can reduce that. I can divide both top and bottom by four, so I'm going to have one D to the seventh. I'm not even going to write the one. You could if you want, but don't have to. 12 divided by four is three f to the ninth, and that's my final answer. Number seven, everything inside the parentheses is getting squared. So I'm gonna put an exponent here on that four. Now I'm just gonna multiply each exponent by two. So four squared, k to the 16th. Eight times two, not eight squared, eight, to the eight times two. And now I'm gonna do four squared, which is 16, k to the 16th. Number eight, five over two to the negative second. Each base in there has an exponent of one. Each of them gets multiplied by negative two. So I'm gonna have five to the negative second over two to the negative second. A negative exponent means it moves. It does not make it negative. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the five to the bottom, and it's gonna be five squared. I'm gonna move the two to the top, and it's gonna become two squared. 2 squared is 4, 5 squared is 25, done. And number 
9, 2 m to the negative third n to the seventh to the third power. Everything in there gets the third power. So, put a 1 here. I'm going to multiply each exponent by 3. So, 2 to the third, m to the negative ninth, n to the 21st. Okay. Now, I'm just going to move things around and simplify as much as I can. So, 2 to the third is 8. m to the negative ninth actually goes to the bottom, so I'm going to go ahead and move it. And n to the 21st stays there. And we're done. Number 10. I'm s this 2 goes with everything in the first parentheses. So there's a 1 here, a 1 here. So I'm going to have 3 squared, m squared, n to the 8th. The 3 on the outside here goes with everything in the second set of parentheses. So there's a 1 here and a 1 here. So I'm going to have 2 to the 3rd, m to the 21st, n to the 3rd. Now I'm just going to start simplifying everything in there. 3 squared and 2 to the 3rd, that's 9, and that's 8. And I'm going to multiply those together. 9 times 8, 72. Now I'm going to put m squared with n to the 21st, and I'm going to get m to the 23rd, and n to the 8th, and n to the 3rd makes n to the 11th. Number 11. Every exponent gets multiplied by 2. So I'm going to put make sure everything has an exponent. I'm going to put 1, a 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 6 times 2 is 12. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. And 1 times 2 is 2. Now I'm going to simplify and move. 5 squared is 25. A to the 4th, B to the 12th. A to the negative 8th, that means it's not happy on the bottom. It's going to go to the top and become A to the 8th. B squared on the bottom. OK, so we've got 25. Where are there more A's? Well, they're all on top. There's 12 of them up there. Where are there more B's? On the top. And there's 10 more on top. There's my answer. Similar idea for number 12. Every exponent gets multiplied by negative 3. So 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. Negative 5 times negative 3 is positive 15. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. Now I just got to move things around. 2 goes to the bottom, it becomes 2 to the third. W to the 15th stays up top. Z goes to the top and becomes Z to the 12th. Now I just got to simplify 2 to the third. So my answer is W15, Z12 over 8. 13. Each exponent gets multiplied by negative 5 in the first set of parentheses. So I have X to the negative 40th, Y to the negative 15th. Everything gets multiplied by 4 in the second set of parentheses. So X to the 24th, Y to the 44th. Now I'm going to put them together. Negative 40 plus 24 is negative 16. Negative 15 plus 44 is 29. Okay. Move the x to the bottom. I get y to the 29th over x to the 16th. 14. 4g to the negative third, 2h to the seventh, negative 3g. There's a 1 right here. I'm going to put all these coefficients together at the very beginning. So 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times negative 3 is negative 24. I'm going to multiply, multiply. And it's OK to do that because everything's being multiplied here. It doesn't matter if the 2 is with the h and the other 2 are with g's. That doesn't matter. Now I'm going to put the g's together. So that's negative 3 and 1. That's negative 2. h to the 7th. Now I just got to make things happy. Negative 24 actually has an exponent of 1. It's happy on top. A negative number is fine. It's a negative exponent we don't want. G goes to the bottom, becomes G squared. H to the seventh stays on top. And we're done. 15. I got to do the multiplication first. So I'm going to do V negative 16 times V 10. Now I'm going to put those together. So it's going to be negative 6. Finally, finish it up. 1 over V to the sixth. 16 is pretty quick. Everything 
inside the exponent, or every time inside the parentheses is getting the zero power. So everything in here becomes 1. 17, two negative exponents, we're going to move them. Goes to the bottom, goes to the top. So it's going to be 2 to the third on top, 6 squared on the bottom. 2 to the third is 8, 6 squared is 36, and then I'm going to reduce now and divide both by 4. So it's going to be 2 over 9. Last one for this video, 18. Negative 7, happy on top. T to the negative fourth goes to the top. Becomes T to the fourth. That's T to the first on the bottom. Now there's still two T's. We need to get rid of the two T's. Where are there more T's? On top. So it's negative 7, T to the third. There's three more on top. Nothing left on the bottom. So there's my answer. Okay, so that's the... Um, first page, hopefully that helped. The next, uh, next video is going to be the rest of the review.